Flag football's on its way for the Olympics. Yes. Patrick Mahomes is on now. record as saying he wants to be the American quarterback. Well, that'll be some in, interesting decisions in for the NFL to football. make because they're throwing everything they have behind. They obviously made this push internationally to get flag football in yep. the Olympics. The idea they're not going to release their players to participate in it seems far-fetched, but that's also a pretty good chunk of time through the offseason. Then you got guys flying back internationally to go right into training camp yeah. two weeks before the season. Do they let Justin Jefferson go out there and play wide receiver? Eh, maybe not. But the 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 benefits of spreading flag football globally mm -hmm. with the face of the NFL, Patrick Mahomes playing oh, no question. relatively flat-footed quarterback. You go let's one year, say, 1992 dream yeah. team style, and just let them go and absolutely and, dominate. And right. I... I I don't see how we all understand that the NFL protects the product as, as, as strong as any industry, forget sport, any industry in the United States. I, I don't see how they, pardon the double negative, I don't see how they don't let it happen. I, I, I think it absolutely has to happen where big time NFL players will participate and the benefits for the game of football, for the Olympics, and for the athletes who want to mix. They, Patrick Mahomes is a sports fan, man. Right. You don't think he would like well, to... Well, you can't show up there with, like, the UFL, no offense to the UFL, the UFL equivalent of, like, the guys who didn't make a team. Well, you can go to NFL legends, I suppose, guys who recently retired. Uh, that's a good one. That would be another way to that's do it without one. using current NFL players. Yeah, They'd who, still... Who's stopping Ocho Cinco and T.O. out there? Even give me, yeah, yeah, give me Mike 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 the net. Like, J.J. Like, Watt shows up as red zone target. quarterback. Like, come on. Go ahead. Mike Vick at quarterback. Let's have oh, some. I mean, Mike's getting oh, older let's though have now. Some fun I'm talking guys who like on. just, just. Well, oh, I mean, I'm sure he can run around everybody, but there's gonna be 20 you year old think Tom dudes Brady out there. Sign up for that. Expand his brand. RG3 could still yeah. run a four four. Like, let's go. Tom Brady in a in that setting would be phenomenal. You want to hear a Tom Brady in that setting story? Yeah, of course. Please. Two years in a row, Tom, by the way, big NFL Red Zone fan, mm -hmm. even when he was mm -hmm. playing, and, and I'm not just saying that because I'm sitting here, but he, he, he used to tell me he, he loved the bye week. He mm -hmm. loved playing on Thursday night football so he could watch Red Zone all throughout his Sunday. So uh, a couple years in a row, I played in Tom Brady's charity uh, flag football game, okay? And it's Brady. This is back in the, in the New England Patriot days, and it's back like – 10, 12 years ago, mm -hmm. his he all kinds of celebrity. We had uh, who is uh, from the Shield, the actor Michael Chiklis, Chiklis. who I think has yeah. been on the show. Yeah, yeah. big times. big Boston fan. Yeah, big yeah. Boston fan. He played in it, and then you had like Carl Lewis showed up to nah. it. Then you had Scott Hansen running around, and then you had Julian Edelman, a young wide receiver. Julian Edelman, before many people knew his name, would come out and he would play in it. And then you had guys that were big money guys that donated. <laughs> to uh, to uh, Best Buddies was the charity that sure. benefited, which is an yeah. amazing right. organization. Yeah. Google Best Buddies when you get a chance. That, that donated. That these guys were weekend warriors, you know, 30, 40 pounds, you know, on, on the bad side of their high school football glory days. Brady warms up with everyone. He was quarterback for both teams. Yeah. He warms up with everyone. He hit everyone on stride was able to calculate oh that's julian edelman going on the nine route an actual nfl wide receiver and i can hit him he's running a four four up the seam yeah. and oh there's scott hansen running a 10 yard dig and yeah he used to be sub five but he ain't now <laughs> yard dash. and then this dude who is you know works at fidelity investments that donated fifty thousand dollars to be yeah. on the team to catch a pass from Brit, who's kind of oompa looping around he hit everyone on stride he calculated, okay, here's my personnel. And it was it was one of the most remarkable things to see at field level and then on the field as well. And, I, and I'll admit it because he, he'll bust my chops next time I see him. I dropped the first pass he ever threw to me, and it was the most <laughs> gorgeous pass. And I was I played wide receiver at Syracuse at the end of my at the end of my time. I was mesmerized. He threw from me to you, and, Chris, and, and I was and like, like, this is the most beautiful uh, pass I've ever <laughs> shoot right through my hands. It was right here. What did he say? I was going this way. The next year I played in it, and he goes, you're not going to drop any more passes, are you? He remembered. He throws Photographic passes memory. during this. He remembered. He goes, you're not going <laughs> to drop that. I caught a two-point conversion later in the game that helped our team to victory, and I returned to kickoff about 50 yards as well. But... That's neither here nor there. He remembered the drop pass and he busted my nuts about it. <laughs> I thought this dude, yeah. So Brady, I think 100 percent he'd be in on some Olympic. He'd be 50 flag years old in 2028, but Dude, for flag is, football, which is, stand in. 
throw it to really fast guys. Yes, and he if we've been seeing well his social media posts, he's yeah. he's still on the avocado and the and the and the TB12. Oh yeah, no, method. he looks great. He's still yeah, looks fantastic. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, twelve to three Eastern, for free.